Okay, hello everybody, what's up? Uh, this is the uh, motion tutorial on how to import a VRM and a VSF model into your motion environment. So let's get cracking. First thing what you wanna do is make sure that you are in a fresh, newly created scene. In your motion SDK, SDK tools, you'll have an option, I'm just gonna put it over here. You'll have an option to create avatar scene. And then you'll be left with this. Don't worry about this person they're just for reference you can just you know move it out of the way if you want if that helps and then you'll be in here All right so what you'll want to do is make sure to grab your vrm um i got a messy thing here uh grab your vrm that you want i'm going to use mine as an example i'm going to drop it in the scene right but what you want to do is you want to make sure that the your vrm is a child of motion avatar okay once it's a child of motion avatar your model is now part of it okay now that our vrm is a child of motion avatar over in the right in the inspector just go to the bottom go to add component and add motion avatar ragdoll script this will allow you to do uh, all the ragdoll features that are in motion so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make your bones uh fall into these categories like your root bone and whatnot so you want to make your armature your root and so on right so everybody's models are you know set up differently than each other so follow the steps you know your hips your spine your chest in uh, my particular instance it'd be like spine one spine two spine three my head bone left upper leg you know it's it's how you have your bones set up so put them all in here the way that you want them to be set up and this is going to help with the ragdoll you can leave the weight to 75 that's okay too okay now that you have done that you have added the ragdoll if you wanted to just over on the right motion avatar descriptor name it what you want it to be i'm just gonna put duper vrm and then you can add a description uh whatever you want you can add blah, 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 if you want to that works too and then you just want to hit build scene okay now that we are in motion uh your clubhouse is going to look a little different from mine but this is my clubhouse um we're going to on the very top you'll see an option called add avatar um just so you know when you export your model from unity when you export your vrm model from unity motion must be closed and then reopen it okay now add avatar i have a bunch here don't worry and we have our duper vrm which is right here i'm gonna add that to the scene and here it is now if you want the tracking to be set up for your model see i'm just idling right there you need to go to your category for your avatar uh right here i have another one but that one's invisible um and turn on enable vmc see and now that it now it is tracking my model you must understand that um, the tracking isn't in motion. You must have something that is sending VMC protocol. I'm using VC face. It is free for everybody. You can add VC face. Uh, all you need to do is just settings general and you'll have an option scrolling down, send data with a nice little port number. Copy that port number and just drop it uh, over here on the right, right there. Bam. And then you'll have tracking. You can have as many models as you want, which is one of the features, which is really cool. So uh, once you unselect, um, oh, I have that set up for something else. Don't, don't worry about that. But you can have multiple models in here tracking from the same port. And um, yeah, you can have them placed all over the place. Now, that is for VRM. Are you ready for VSF? I don't know if you're ready. Okay, to add a VSF model, all you need to do is go to avatar on the top. And click on your VSF model, which is actually this one. You'll need to import your VSF model. Sorry. Once you have imported your VSF model, it'll pop up as an option. Add it. And that's it. No Unity required. VSF already works. Already works. And done. And that's and that is really it. So now that you have added your model uh VRM VSF wise, you can place them wherever you want. Play around with the ragdoll physics to your heart's content. You can have on collision. You can have it set to always on. If you have it as always on, it is going to stop. Oh. Yeah, uh, if you have it as always on, it's going to stop tracking. 
<laughs> it's gonna stop tracking you and it's just gonna be a ragdoll on the floor um just have fun with it and uh yeah that is how you set up your models uh if you have any other questions join the discord they'll help you out uh this just released um so they're going to be um there's gonna be bugs you're gonna encounter bugs if you encounter bugs let the dev team know um and they will help you out uh, but thank you uh for watching and that is that is literally it so have fun <laughs>